We are bikepacking 2,500 miles across Europe from London to Istanbul, Turkey. In the previous video, we crossed into country number 12, Serbia. And in this video, we continue our journey following the Eurovelo 6 along the Danube to the Iron Gates. This is the most pretty spot. And to an incredible giant rock sculpture. This was one of the areas we were most excited to see on this journey across Europe. <laughs> Gotta love our morning greetings <laughs> to the local residents. It's funny because the people are so nice, then you have the dogs that just hate you. <sighs> oh no. Oh, no, no, no. Gosh. Really? Alex is being my knight in shining armor. No, but seriously, Alex has had to do that the whole time. Are we going up that hill? We should say the Eurobellistic isn't fully developed. Good morning, everybody. We are heading towards the Iron Gates. If you don't know what the Iron Gates is, it's like a big gorge over the Danube that looks like it's straight out of Lord of the Rings. And there's a massive rock sculpture there as well. We have a couple of ferry crossings today. They have limited schedules, so we have to make sure we get there on time. We'll be crossing one in about 10 miles and then another one in another 20 after that into Romania, I think. We're still not 100% sure what route we're taking, but that's the current plan. On the Eurovelo 6, you can go on either the Serbian side of the Danube or the Romanian side of the Danube. And we'll be doing a little bit of both. The Serbian side is supposed to have a ton of elevation up and down. We're gonna go towards the Romanian side. Number nine, Krakos Bay. We're so close to this. There's been so much of this uh, Eurovelo 6 route since Belgrade that's been just on grass. Not even like a dirt road or gravel, just straight up grass. <laughs> I think they might eventually do some development here and turn this into an actual bike path, but as of now, 2023, it is grass. Awkward place for me to pause. Okay guys, we just got to the ferry port and the restaurant here is closed. We had a very light breakfast, so hoping we can find something nearby, but it's a pretty small ferry port. <laughs> Online had the wrong times that I'm seeing here. We probably should have tried to grab the 8.30. We're here at like 9.30 and we have about an hour to kill until the 10.30 ferry goes. Wow, that's a lot of food for breakfast that's nice so we found a restaurant that's open <laughs> <laughs> and the ferry leaves in 20 minutes so we gotta eat quick welcome to our ferry it's as you can see it's small but they still fit quite a bit of vehicles on here it's about 600 serbian then our, as usual, we'll add the U.S. conversion. I think it's a short ferry, right? Hey 
All right, definitely missing that first gear going up this hill. I already felt like I would like a couple gears up and a couple gears down. So now losing my lowest gear, not fun. Something like the Great Divide. This wouldn't be possible without that first gear, but there hasn't been a ton of hills since Belgrade until now. Whew. So pretty out here. farmland of course that's one constant on this trip across Europe is lots and lots of farmland including corn lots of corn, corn. corn. yeah beautiful road beautiful trail over to the other side of the river that's actually Romania over there all right guys so we got to the ferry area and we're having some problems because we can't seem to find any information before we got here on what time they leave even people in the nearby town didn't know and there's just no sign of even anyone here at the ferry port. We see a sign that maybe has a schedule, so we're looking, but we're a little worried that they aren't even gonna run today. Okay, so Alex is gonna try to talk to some more people. Oh, it's been a little complicated figuring this out. All right, so there's like a little town here. I talked to some people. Apparently the ferry is not running. Now we have to figure out what we wanna do. Do we wanna keep following the six along the river? The problem is now, I think that's not the most direct route to Istanbul. And it adds a ton of elevation going on the Serbian side of the Danube because there's a lot of up and down. And I can't get into first gear. Well, we're gonna plan guys and, and eat. <laughs> we'll let you know. All right, so it looks like no matter what direction we choose to go, we still have to go the same way. We're gonna be following the Danube for quite a while. So either way, we gotta go that direction and we'll just put off making this decision for a little while longer. <laughs> Leave it to Liz and Alex to procrastinate. <laughs> Here on the Danube, the views just keep getting better and better. The further east we're going, these edges around the river are just getting higher and just with these rocky outcroppings, it's so beautiful here. It was another early night. We're staying at this lovely guest house. The woman who owns it is really sweet. Okay. Paula. <laughs> For five euros per person, she provides a meal. We got our nice three-course meal here <laughs> for five euros a person. This soup is really good. It's like salty. Like sometimes they don't make soup salty enough. This has like the right amount of salt. After the soup, she brought a nice cucumber tomato salad, which is like super popular all over the Balkans in our experience, and some bread, mashed potatoes. And I think these are like fried zucchini coins or something like that. This is yummy. And so it was a multi-course affair tonight. And yeah, now I think we're just gonna call it a night. It feels nice to be in a guest house and it's nice going to these locally run places because we know all the money is going directly into the local economy, which we like to see. All right, night night. Bala, thank you. All is good, Bala. 
Okay, so we just left our guest house. That was a really nice stay. I loved the woman there. She is like a grandma. Really helpful with us this morning too as we packed up our bikes. <gasps> Dog shin. Yeah. And now we're heading off. The goal is to see the statue today. It looks really dark. Somebody's coming. Big vehicle. Wow. lunch and ran some errands, got some groceries, so we should be set to go. We're gonna go head out to the Iron Gates. Go, go, go. With the exception of the occasional massive semi-truck or bus, this road along the Danube is actually pretty nice. I read somewhere that the Serbian side is actually a lot less traffic filled than the Romanian side, so maybe it is good that we're going this route because we'll have pretty long stretches with no cars and it's really beautiful, this gorge here. This is like the seventh or eighth tunnel we've taken today. So many, this is the longest one. This is really cool looking. This whole thing coming the opposite direction. Home free. That was lucky having no cars come on our road. Whoa. That's gorgeous. This is beautiful. Wow. Oh my goodness. We have to stop here. That is gorgeous, guys. Look at that. All right, guys, we're in the Iron Gates Gorge. This is the most pretty spot of our trip so far, possibly. Although I feel like I keep saying that. It doesn't look real. It does look like something that could have been out of Lord of the Rings. It does, and I think it looks more that way when you see the statue. I think it looked a little bit like this in Albania, Kosovo, on the Lake Coma. Honey, you gotta be careful. There's a cliff on both sides. Anyway, the Lake Coman Ferry, it looked a bit like this. This road's been a little sketch though with the cars. Yeah. <laughs> like, I've heard that the Romanian side is worse, so maybe it was good we missed that, but the cars get super close, and because it's like curvy, I definitely feel like we're not the most visible. It's a little nerve wracking. Anyways, beautiful. Another tunnel. That's a big ball. We are so close to the Iron Gates. It just should be real soon. Super exciting. Seriously, one of the things we were most excited by far to see on this biking adventure across a continent. <laughs> we came to see it, so I'm excited. <gasps> it's there! Do you see it? No, I don't. Oh, there! <laughs> wow! <laughs> Seriously, you're right in the face. Wow, I'm so excited! This GoPro's not gonna pick it up. Let me switch. All right, I am standing in front of the statue of De Celebus. We are on the Danube on the Serbian side. That's the Romanian side. And that is the statue of De Celebus. De Celebus was an ancient Romanian king who helped them defeat the Romans during the early AD period from like 87 to 106 AD. But the statue, as old as it actually looks, it's, it was built in 94 to 2004. So it's a relatively new statue. The guy who commissioned it actually wanted a statue of the Roman Empire on the Serbian side of the Danube, so they'd be like facing each other off. 
but Serbia didn't like that idea so they didn't do it <laughs> I understand who wants to be on the bad side <laughs> yeah <laughs> anyway it's really cool this is this was definitely one of the major points that we were looking for on this bike packing trip and now it really feels like we're kind of in the final stretch of this trip to Istanbul it's just Romania tomorrow then Bulgaria for a week then Turkey for a week wow I'm yeah. so excited we made it Bye, statue. I know, he's the type of doggy we want. Hi, honey. How is this dog so cute? I don't know. I think we need to bring him home. I know. <laughs> <laughs> Puppy. Oh, a cute little jump. All right, we have made it to our guest house. I think we've only done about 45 miles today. We had to make today a bit short because it was either this town or go much further. So we ended it a little bit early. But there's this really nice guest house that we're in right now. The lady was really nice. We had to use Google Translate to talk about the place. 30 euros for this entire place. It's like a little apartment with a with a loft, uh, like a bedroom loft. It's got a kitchen. We're Amazing. Go get some groceries. Yeah, we were thinking, oh, we're gonna have to go to a restaurant, but yeah, we're just gonna use this kitchen right here. It's amazing. Anyway, that is it for the day. We'll, we'll see you tomorrow. We should give them a tour. Oh yeah. Let's do a tour first. <laughs> <laughs> nice looking kitchen. Huge living room. Okay. Um, bathroom with a decent sized shower. The stairs. This is what I thought was really cool. Here is the bedroom with a balcony. This is the most exciting part, for sure. This huge balcony with like Sitting areas. This is amazing. I'm gonna have a cup of tea here tonight. Wow. And look at that sunset over there. Wow. Yep, this is perfect. Pretty good value. <laughs> yep, we're gonna see you guys in the morning. On the next episode, we cross into country number 13, Romania. <laughs> now we're stuck in a town with no campground and no hotels and it's pitch dark. <laughs> <laughs>